Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bill from My Batter Half. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace your old Mercury thermostat with a brand new digital one. Coming right up. Hey guys, on this channel we deal primarily with do-it-yourself projects around the house. So if you enjoy watching content like that, please consider subscribing. And at that, let's get on to the video. So here's a unit that we're going to replace. This is a old timey mercury thermostat and it's due for an upgrade. So before we can do anything with the thermostat, the power to the furnace needs to be turned off at the breaker. I'm also going to turn off the breaker to the outside unit as well. Now that the power is off, we can remove the old thermostat. Okay, the first step is to remove the faceplate. And then these two screws, this one and this one, need to be taken off. It is recommended that you take a box cutter, a blade like this, and go around the outer edges of it. So that way when you pull it away from the wall, you won't rip a bunch of paint off with it. Now that the screws are out, we can pull the thermostat away from the wall. Okay, so all of these wires correspond with a letter. For example, the yellow wire is going to be Y, the red wire is going to be R, the white wire is going to be W, and the green wire right here is going to be G. Unfortunately, this doesn't come far enough away from the wall for me to show you that. But I'm going to label these wires uh, with the corresponding letters. And once I get the wires disconnected, then I'll show you the back of this and show you what I'm talking about. So the new thermostat comes with labels so we can label those wires. Okay, so I've got the wires labeled with the corresponding letters. It's very important that you do this because not all manufacturers have the same colors and the same letters. Now let's disconnect the wires. You know, the wires are just held on by screws. You just gotta take a flathead screwdriver and get those unscrewed and get the wires disconnected. All right, so here's the back of the unit. Here's the letters I was talking about. There's the letter R. That's where the red wire was attached. The letter Y, that's where the yellow wire was attached. Here's the G, which is where the green wire was. And then of course the W, which is where the white wire was. All right, so here's our wires with the labels. Let's go ahead and mount our new thermostat. Okay, we'll go ahead and mark the first hole here. And then before we mark the second hole, We'll make sure it's level. We'll go ahead and drill the first hole. Get this screwed into the wall here. Okay, now that we've got that screwed in, now we can go ahead and make sure it's level. And that's level right there. Go ahead and mark our hole. Get this side screwed in. Okay, now that the back plate is on, now we can connect the wires to the appropriate letters. So as you can see, you've got all the letters down here and we've got these wires labeled. So we just need to put the corresponding label 
as this one here says G. You can see that. And the G will go right there. Y will go there, W will go there, R will go there. Okay, next thing is put the batteries in the faceplate. After you get the batteries installed, then this little switch right here, one side's for gas, the other side's for electric. Just switch it to whatever you have. Now we attach the faceplate to the wall plate. All right, now the next step is to turn the power back onto the furnace. So there you have it, guys. That's how you install a digital thermostat in your house. Very simple and very straightforward. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, then I would urge you to subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon, give us a thumbs up. And at that, this is Bill signing off from my batter half. Have a great day.